We are currently in 2022. Countries have opened up. People are traveling. And the new COVID-19 variants are not as potent. A large part of the world may be over the Wuhan virus pandemic, but some are still living and struggling with it every single day. I'm talking about long COVID. First, what is long COVID? According to the World Health Organization, it is a complex medical condition. To start with, it is very hard to diagnose. No one can know right away if they have long COVID or not. Secondly, there is no one symptom. Exhaustion, depression, pain, fever, heart palpitations, cognitive impairment, you name it. And it is a symptom of long COVID. Let me now talk about a study that came out today. It has talked about the link between mental health and long COVID. What does it say? If you are stressed, anxious, or even depressed, before catching COVID-19, you will be more prone to get long COVID. It was a study involving almost 50, 55,000 volunteers in the United States. So if they were depressed, it raised the risk of illness by 32% to 46%. But this does not mean mental health issues cause long COVID. Over 40% of those who developed long COVID in the study had no signs of distress, but they still developed long-term effects. But if you did deal with mental health issues, the risks were then higher. And the condition is even being linked to suicides. Many who suffer from long COVID are dying by suicide. There is no concrete data on the frequency, but officials signal it as a hidden crisis, one that the world is currently blind to. In America alone, the condition has impacted up to 23 million people. It pushed roughly 4.5 million out of work. That is equal to about 2.4% of America's workforce. Across the world, the figures are even more staggering. In the first two years, 150 million people have suffered from long COVID. The bigger problem here is the lack of information. In the last three years, the potential long-term effects have been poorly understood. The world was blindsided by the pandemic, so they did not really care about the long-term effects. They were more worried about the task at hand. They were busy developing vaccines or dealing with patients. But now countries are slowly looking at the bigger picture. They are trying to tackle this hidden crisis. So we've talked about long COVID, but there are still a few questions that are left unanswered. And let me try to answer them for you. First, how exactly is long COVID caused? There are a lot of ideas, a lot of points here. No one has any concrete answer. It is usually when the virus may have been cleared from most of the body, but some of it continues to linger on. And this triggers an overactive immune response. Let me explain this. When we get sick, our immune system jumps to react to any virus. And long COVID is when this immune system does not return to normal. So what happens then? The infection ends up altering how the organs function. Some find it difficult to control the blood sugar levels. Others may witness a change in the brain structure. Some even experience blood clotting. So basically, there is no one symptom or reason, and the effects are multiple, even dangerous. So will people ever fully recover? No one knows, not because people do not recover at all, but because there is not enough data on this. Countries and organizations are just realizing the problem with long COVID. And as I said, they are just waking up to this. So there is no data that can indicate how or when you recover. Which brings me to the next big question. What should you do if you do have long COVID? If you have long COVID, the idea is to conserve your energy. The UK's NHS recommends the three P's. What are they? Plan your day, pace yourself, and three, prioritize. And what does that mean? Firstly, do not push yourself too hard. Get plenty of rest. Second, divide intense activities over the week. And thirdly, see the ones that you can avoid. 
the world is only waking up to this problem right now more and more studies are being conducted researchers are trying to answer more and more questions and hopefully in a few months we will know more about how to deal with this we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move